Good afternoon, everyone. As always, I am your host, Lucha FM. Nice to see, you. nice to see you again. Uh, where you left us off last in the Socho Rise of Lions You've Only Saved, we played a few more games. We've got four games left for this episode. Um, it was a bit rubbish, to be honest. Um, we basically um, we drew with Troy's. We lost to FC Annecy. We did beat Amiens, Amiens, but we we only beat them by the the, the slightest margin. We just won four three. We were very lucky. And then we lost four one to Grenoble, who now overtook us in the league. So we're now going to be eighth. Um, we've got four games left. We've got Poix, and then we've got Rodez AF, um, and then Angers, and then Sayen or Kayen, however you pronounce it, C A E M. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we can, we've got, so we've got potentially 12 points we can win out of that. 12 points will get us up to 55 points, which technically could get us into the playoffs, but we know it ain't going to happen. But mathematically, we, we can still get in the playoffs, but uh, it would mean all the other teams above us would have to lose every single game, which ain't going to happen either. So we just got to try and hope that we can get seven plays. We're only one point behind Grenoble despite the fact that they beat us. So if we win that game, we're only four points behind Paris FC in sixth place. So, you know, we can still, we're still having a good season. We're, we're finishing eighth. We weren't expected to do that. We're, we're supposed to just just um, basically stay away from relegation, which we've done. So, yeah, so it's not too bad. But anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, so we're playing Poir now. Um, this is the lineup for the game. We've got um, Galvez and Bastian as the fullbacks, Mendes de Silva and Grillot in the centre of defence, Popov in goal, Drame and Viltard in centre midfield, Weisbeck, Kassard uh, on the wings, and then Fatar and Kofi back up front, so that's good. Defensively, I think we're a little bit weaker, and then up front we're a little bit stronger for this game, so we'll, we'll see. But yeah, one point behind Grenoble. Uh, hopefully we can get... There we go, that's a good start. Silver, how oh, are you up? Offside. Oh, potentially offside. Let's see what VAR says. Nah, offside. Uh, Kofi, you're already playing well. 7.2. We're in the white kits and they are in the yellow kits. Not to confuse you. Still on the hunt for a relatively not too expensive Socho yellow home shirt in my size. Uh, if anybody can recommend me some people who sell football shirts, especially French lower league football shirts, please leave it in the comment section. I would appreciate the help. In the meantime, I'm wearing my Armenia Byfield uh, shirt. Oh, here we go. Come on, I think it's only fair that you disallow that goal. You disallowed ours. Yes, good referee. Me and my partner watched um, Step Brothers yesterday. I forgot how funny that bloody film was. It's such a shame that they can't make films like that anymore. Oh, one nil down. Um, yeah, it's such a funny film. So many parts where I've literally just laughing my head off uh, I miss comedy films like that I can't remember the last the most recent comedy film that would come out that I've gone that I've laughed out loud just unfortunately they don't make comedies like that anymore and it's nothing to do with council culture or anything like that I think it's just um, so I don't believe in stuff like that but like like I said everybody says oh it's council culture and they can't do comedy anymore you can do comedy, it's just you can't offend people, you can't be racist, you can't be misogynist. There's still ways you can do humour. Oh, we should have scored that. Um, but I think just comedy as a genre is just dead. It just it, it would it, it needs to take somebody just to hit a, hit a high note. I think if um, like a really good stand-up comedian started doing comedy films one after the other, like when Kevin Hart exploded and he become really like really good um Comedy film star. Just need somebody like that, really. Right, Kofi across to Galvez. Oh, we're playing rubbish in this game. 
I feel like the players just can't be bothered now. I feel like they're just going, oh, we're just going, we're happy with mid table. We shouldn't be losing to teams like Poir. No offence, but I, I think we are better than them. Galvez. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. 1.56 XG. Tells you everything you need to know. Theirs is 0 0.37. And they're winning 1-0. And they're offside. Uh... Right, Kofi's not playing well, so we'll put Vaz on. Wise back. Gives it to Galvez. Oh. oh. Vatar's not playing. Oh, it was, it was um, not Kofi. It was Vatar that wasn't playing very well. Wise back's not playing well, though. Uh, can't take him off, unfortunately. Take off Hazard, though. Take you off as well. Yes, we can. Uh, Wisebeck, you need to be berated. Because you're playing very, very poorly. As soon as I get a chance, I need to fire up the players. There we go. See what we can do from that. You watch Poir will score now. It's like shouting at the players just has the reverse effect of what you want. It just makes them just drop and then they just down their tools. The days of being able to shout at players and then it motivates them or over by the looks of it. Right, can we get a late equaliser here? Uh, forward, not backwards. Come on, Bill Targe, you're better than that. Rilot. Galvez now. Oh, so close. Look at that, 2.02 xG. Disgraceful. We should have been winning 2 1 here. Oh, they absolutely FM'd us there. Uh, I probably won't bother holidaying because there's literally two days before the next game. Nothing really to play for now at the moment. We've just got to see the season out. We're not going to get... Probably get... You know, we'll get... We're going from 7th to... By the looks of it, we'll probably be 10th by the end of this. We'll probably lose to Rodez now. Crazy in players is hilarious. Vitaly, you played rubbish, so I don't know why I'm praising you. Anyway, uh, you played rubbish last game. Right, there we go. It's good that the morale in that's up, though. The, the morale is high. The team dressing room atmosphere is excellent, so that's good. I just don't think we're good enough at the moment. Right. So, is there any major changes? Teller's left back, so there's that. Um, Langas is on the left. Nabo's up front with Vaz. I suppose maybe he's just trying out some new players, maybe. The assistant manager. All right, Grillot. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I need to see that again. From behind the goal. Uh, once this comes up, oh, hold on. We'll see if it's allowed first. Probably won't even be allowed. Okay, so that was pointless, right? Uh, director, there you go. Right, we're as low as ninth now. Can we try and get eighth, maybe? We not lose to Rodez. Good interception there by Vaz. Terrible pass by Vazo, or terrible vision by Langes to not pick up the pass. Either way, good save by Popov. Comfortable save, I'd say. Right, Tete. Not Tete. Teller. You got Teller and you got Tete in this team now, so it's going to be a bit confusing. 
Right, let's try and demand a bit more after eight minutes gone. That always works well. Laz. Get in. Carl Zenti. Nice to see him scoring today. Good little morale boost for him. Corner to us, De Costa. Headed, hit the post, I think. Um, one nil though, so that's good. Five points behind sixth place uh, Paris FC with two games to go. We're now four points, sorry. Right, so they've got a goal kick. We get, no, we don't. Oh, we have got the possession. Grillock. Bossy. Nice bit of passing going on here. Oh, that was a jinx of the commentator there, wasn't it? Oh, oh, that was a good ball. That was a fair play. Oh, nothing comes out of that. That's good. Oh uh, yeah, we're still 1-0 up. We're now up to 8th in the league. Good little free kick there. Loops it in. Langis! Get in. Langis. Is he a good player, Langis? Yeah, he looks pretty good. 19. Free kick. Grillot. Is he good at free kicks? Have we got a central defender that's good at set pieces? Bloody hell, he's at the post. I think that's the second time he's had a free kick at the post in this game. Um, when it lets me, I will have a look. Right. Uh, Grillot. Free kicks, where is it? Penalty taking is not very good. Free kick taking six. So why is he taking free kicks? Oh, I don't know. Baffles me. I mean, it. I mean, if he's our best free kick taker when he's only got six, I mean that does worry me a bit. I mean, he's hit the post twice, so it's a fair play to be. He scored both times. Tete with a bit of a bit of a high high powered shot there. Maybe if he controlled it a bit, might have, might have had a better chance of going in. Right, De Silva's knackers, so we'll put on Acra. Acra hasn't played for a while, actually. Navo's not playing particularly well, so we'll take him off. We'll put on Qatar. Right, Carl Zenti with the free kick. Good ball. Go on, Acra. Get in. There you go. A rare good performance by us lately. Uh, we're eighth now. I think we'll be eighth with two games to go. So I think we'll probably end up staying eighth. We just got to hope we win the next two games, really. Tete. Mossy. I think we're doing a bit of time wasting here by the looks of it. Should we give some day views? I think we need to give some day views. Right, who can we give? Uh, we'll give Victor Joseph a day view. And then, Tyler, you have played really well, but we're going to take you off. Uh, and then we'll put on... Uh, we'll take Carl off. We'll put on Maj Maji. That's it, there you go. Costa now. Yes, get in Tete. Fourth goal of the season for him. He's had a really good season this season, I think. He's played quite a few games. Oh, I said that. He's only played 30, 14 games for us now. I felt like he's played more than that. I right, just need to put Victor Joseph in a more familiar position.
the main support and then the tar put you as a false nine. Right, let's see this game out. Move on to the next game. Qatar with a, a bit of a poor shot by him. We could have done with uh, Grenoble winning. Oh uh, yeah, we could have done with them losing. Yeah. Two games left. Right, I'll see you in a second with the next game. Right, so we've got the penultimate game of the season. Um, and we've got some slight changes again. We've got uh, Triple G in defence here. We've got Grillot, Garez and Galvez. Um, Bossy is left back. Popov is always in goal. Tete, who's not 100% match fit because he picked up a slight injury. He starts with Viltard. Fatar on the right. Pizard on the left. Nabo up front with Vaz. See how we get on. Angers currently tenth. First highlight goes to us after two minutes. We're going to score already. Oh, nearly. Got a goalkeeper called Zinger. Ugh. If I could buy players, I would just buy players with. If they have really funny, cool names like Zinger. Get in 1 0. Grillot. Fifth goal of the season. Starting to become a first team regular with us, I think. Uh, he's pretty good on the attacking side of things as well. Heading 12. Played um, six games for us. I think the five goals are for the. Oh no, why does it say it's the fifth goal of the season? It says zero here. Oh, I don't know. Right. Oh, maybe he was on loan. Was he on loan somewhere? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, there you go. Four, four goals for the second team before we called him up. There you go. That would explain it. I was getting confused then. Right, we're eighth. We need to keep an eye on Grenoble. Uh, see if they're winning. Are they playing today? Over where are you? Oh, let's pause this so I can keep an eye on this. Grenoble, there you go. They're losing to Rodez, who we beat 4 0. See, that annoys me even more now that we lost to Grenoble. We lose to Grenoble, but we beat the team that, that's winning. We've beaten them. All right, we've just got to keep an eye on that. Now, free kick to us, Viltard, Gares, good pass, Vaz with his seventh goal of the season, how many games he played for us, so he's played, played um, seven games, come on 15 times for us and scored like five goals, so it's not too bad, eight, six, seven goals overall in eight games, proper games and then. 15. He's, he's been more of a sub sub uh, player at the substitution player at the moment, super sub, because of the fact that Kofi and Fatar are usually the main strike force for us. Strike partnership, sorry. Um, Tete, your knackers, you can come off. Right. Renewable, they're losing 2 0. Good, that's what we like to see. We're winning 2 0, they're losing 2 0. So we might still get seventh place. I think that was outside the box. I don't think it's going to be a penalty. I think that'd be very um, unfortunate for the opposition. Yeah, I was going to say that would have been really. I mean, I'm not complaining, but that would have been very unfair to get given that penalty. They're losing 3 0 now. Good. Right, that helps us get a chance of potentially being finishing seventh in the league. So we're one point behind Grenoble now. We have one game to play. Such a shame that we didn't have another. We could have got sixth place, but seventh place potentially would 
probably gonna we're definitely gonna we're probably gonna get eight for seven bollocks of it. We've got one game left. We can't get any lower than eight, so that's good. That's a pretty good season overall. So uh yeah, not complaining too much. I think I'm gonna give Grillot a new contract. Right, and I'm gonna holiday to the to the next game, last game of the season. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, last game of the season versus Kayan. I'm gonna call him Kayan because I think that's how you say it, but I could be wrong. Um Yeah, so we've got basically Pop up in goal, De Costa on the right, Diagne and Bossi in centre defence, Bastian on the left, Drame and De Silva in the middle, Weisbeck and Carsensi on the wings, Navo and Vaz up front. As always, we will keep an eye on the Grenoble game. Where are they? Are they even playing today? Yeah, they are. They're playing Auxer. Hopefully, Auxer can do us a favour. We still need to win. I worry there's going to be a defensive cop up here. Oh, no. Yeah. There you go. Oh, good. Defended by Bastion to get it back. They're now in possession, though. Oh, good. Tackling by Navo to get that ball back. Come on, I feel like this is going to be our highlight here. Good little passing going on here to Costa. Weisbeck. Good ball. Lucky by Vaz. Corner. Weisbeck. Floats it up. Uh, still near nil in the Orcs uh, Grenoble game. Yeah, still nil nil. If the games stay like this, oh, Orcs are winning. That's good. So we'll check the league table in a minute. Carzenti's not playing very well. He needs to come off. Langes up there. Good save, thank God for that. Right, come on, pop up. Oh, good defending there. Let's get it back. There you go. Come on, don't lose the ball. Oh, that was a terrible pass. They're going to score. They're just waiting to score, aren't they, at this point? Ruin our chances of getting seventh place. Oh, it's 1-1 one, one in the Grenoble Orc so much, so that's not good. Come on, Orc, sir, do us a favour. Come on, let's get a goal, and then we can concentrate on the other game, then. Good save, right. Come on. Right, Vaz is coming off. Kofi can come on. Uh, Bossy's playing rubbish. We'll put Grillot in there. Oh no, that was poor. Poor pass in there. They've got like a five on three situation going on there. Luckily, he didn't lead to goal. I feel like the Kayan's going to win this game now. I feel it's just inevitable. They've been all over us. Yep, there we go. 1 0. I guess we're just going to be 8th then. Which isn't too bad. We can't we can't really complain too much about that one. Oh, and typical Orcs are winning. It's like it's almost as if as soon as Kayan scored, Orcs are scored. All right, let's uh, try and push these players a bit more forward. Uh, who else can we take off? Bastion, you're not playing very well. We haven't got anybody to 
you I'll take you off though because you're knackered. Uh, can we take you off? No, we can't take anybody else off. Go very attacking. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, hit early crosses. Play for set pieces. Go a bit more wide. Overlap. Uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm just trying anything and hoping for the best. It didn't work. Oh well, eighth it is then, everyone. But not too bad. Fair play, lads. Fair play. Um, right then, I'll be back in a second with the season review. Right, so um, I'm just going to do a little roundup of the season. Um, first things first is I completely forgot that I managed to convince the board ages ago to buy the stadium. So we now own the stadium. Um, I've also forgot um, from the last episodes that I did last week that we managed to get the board to improve the training facilities. So that took a bit of time, but we now have superb training facilities. We've got top corporate facilities, excellent youth facilities, exceptional academy coaching because recently um, managed to get that done. And then literally in between the last game of the season and coming up to this now, I managed to successfully get the board to um, improve the youth recruitment. So there's that. So let's have a look how we did in the end. So um, do that. Right, so we finished eighth. We were, what was it, 11, no, sorry, 10, 13 points behind the playoffs in the end. So, um, we managed to, um, Strasbourg and Bordeaux managed to get promoted automatically. And then Leon, I think Leon won the promotion. So the quarterfinals, Auxer beat Troyes. And then in the semi final, Leon beat Auxer 1 0. So I assume they got up. Or do they? No, Leon are playing Mets. So Leon could still be in this league if they don't beat Mets. It would be very frustrating. Um, and who, let's have a look at League on. Let's see who we've got, who we're playing. Uh, when's this game? 29th of March, so coming up in a few days on the game. So, Mets, so, Gunt, Gunt, Gamp, Gunt, Gamp, and Clement are the teams that got relegated. So, they're a lot easier, I'd say. I wouldn't say that they're, they're not easy games, but. I think they're easier competition than Bordeaux, Strasbourg and Lyon, for God's sake. So I think we've got a stronger chance of getting the playoffs next season. Uh, Metz is a good team, but I think we're, we've still got a chance. So Lyon, if they don't get promoted this season, they'll be champions next season, guaranteed. And then it will be probably us and maybe Clement in the playoffs, I think, or second place, hopefully. Um, we do need to get better, though. Uh, let's just go back to this. Let's go back to League 2. So Kofi was the league's top goal scorer and also best average rating as well. Um, he was obviously our top goal scorer and best average rating as well. And then Kazard had the most assists. Best pass clip completion was our goalkeeper Popov. And most, manager, most player of the month awards was Kofi. Uh, we didn't get any red cards this season, which was pretty good. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. I don't think there's anything else I need to talk about, really. So, I'll um, I'll leave that for that. This will be a, a bit of a short episode. Um, if I do happen to get the season review, I will record that for next episode. So, yeah. So, anyway, thank you, as always, for following me. If you haven't already, subscribe, like the video. And have a nice day. All the best.